Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, we'll see today how to upload and download files in Streamlit framework application. So let's uh, jump to uh, my screen and let's see how it works. So first of all, let's do a quick demo. And after demo, I'll show in the source code actual implementation. So over here in this application, you go to uh, data annotation, and by the way, all the source codes is available online. Uh, you'll find URL to the GitHub repo where uh, you could uh, browse through the source code, download uh, or uh, and run on your own environment. Okay, so we got over here a place where we could select from the uh, already uploaded files, or this option to upload a new file, or this option to download the annotations uh, for uh, for the form that for the, for, for the uh, file that you selected and where you got some annotations or labels on top of the document, you can download this, this mapping in a JSON format. So uh, let's see how it works. So in this upload form, we got the browse uh, browse files button. Okay, and over here I could select the document, right? Click open. And you could um, either uh, specify through uh, properties for the Streamlit uh, uh, upload uh, component uh, if you would like to allow single file upload or multiple file upload, so this is configurable. Then you can specify types, uh, which kind of um, uh, files uh, are accepted uh, based on type. Like in this case, uh, images are accepted, you could accept other types as well. And you could limit the file size that user is trying to upload through the uh, Streamlit uh, application settings. So in, in this setup, I got, uh, I allow just a single file at a time to be uploaded, right? And uh, then the file name is displayed. I, I hit upload button and we got a message that file was uploaded successfully to the server side. And when you upload the file, you, uh, on the server side, because Streamlit is a server-side framework, you get uh, actual data of the file and you are free to choose where you want to store it. So I'm storing it uh, directly on disk on the server where Streamlit application is running. So we can double check then in the list of annotations that uh, our new document was actually uploaded successfully. So th th this is fine. And then we can go over here uh, let's uh, close that uh, sidebar and I could create new annotation like that and then I could assign uh, assign label to this uh, field. So this would be 15406 and I would say that this is uh, total. I would save it, then this first annotation is saved. And then I'm actually can go and download, um, download this JSON file, right? And it should uh, open. Yeah, it opens in another uh, monitor. So let's let me move it over here. So this is the uh, files that the, the file that was generated. Uh, okay, and. Then if I would go and uh, move between the annotations, uh, let's say I'll select this one. And then I'll go back to the invoice uh, one and then I'll go to invoice three. I see this annotation is uh, saved as expected. Uh, so it's available over here. Right, so uh, yeah, this is how it works. Uh, upload and download, and now uh, the most interesting part, let's see how it's done in the source code. So um, this is a data annotation script available, uh, and inside the script, uh, we got a form, uh, upload form, and we using clear or submit true. Uh, what this helps to do is when you click um, upload button, then it will clean up the state of the upload component and it will remove information about this, like a file name, because by default, 
the file name will stay and it will not be removed even the file is already uploaded so this would be confusing for a user uh, so you need to do uh, you need to wrap uh, file uploader component with the form like like it's done here so in the form we got uh, file uploader then we got all those properties to specify uh, uh, document types and that we don't accept multiple uh, in this case right and then we also got submit button uh, form submit button over here and uh, when we hit the submit button then we actually uh, get hold of the upload file instance the and this instance would get uh, would contain information about actual uh, file and inside upload file method we would decide where we want to store the file either on disk or send to some um, server or, or cloud service and so on so it's up to us so this is basically uh, upload implementation is quite um, straightforward in this case so we got uh, uh, form with clearance meet true then we got file uploader and then we got uh, form submit button and when form submit button is pressed then we get uh, to call a function where we decide where a file should be saved so if you come back here then you can see it. so this is the uh, th this UI is coming from the file uploader. This is our upload button. So when we hit upload button, then um, it, it basically the uh, uploader component is cleaned and file is being saved. If we cl click upload now, so nothing could happen because uh, there's no, uh, no, no file uh, was selected by the user. And if we quick look into the download part, it's over here so the way it works it's also out of the box functionality from streamlit uh, in order for download button to work we need to get the instance of the file we, we would like to we, we would allow uh, to to be downloaded like that so we get uh, this file from disk and then we're using download button and uh, for the data property we are pointing to the uh, instance of the file that was referenced from disk and uh, the rest of the functionality, actual download functionality, will be handled by Streamlit download button automatically. Okay, so this was quick um, uh, video uh, with the explanation how to implement download and upload functionalities in Streamlit. Uh, luckily, Streamlit comes uh, with default uh, widgets for for both for download and for the upload. Uh, but in terms of the uploads, you need to keep in mind that you should wrap default Steamit component with form uh, and specify the option to clear up the results after the form was submitted and you need to have form submit button uh, which will be wired with the method uh, to uh, where the logic will be implemented uh, to decide and uh, do actual stuff to save the file. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.